Don't put this on your, in your newspapers or anything. So this morning when it was raining, I was so happy because that means I could wear my boots. And you know what makes me excited about wearing my boots? I don't have to do my pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> How do they do that? Ninjas! We're very sneaky as Australians. Australian down under ninjas. That's right. Hello, how are you? Hello. Good. Yeah, really well. Good. Oh, you took me by surprise now being here. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, tomorrow's a big day. Tomorrow's yes. a big delivery of the performance. It is. Yeah. Are you, uh, you know, more nervous or um, settled? I think I just want to do it now. Yeah, get it you over. There's been time. such a huge build up that we've done numerous run-throughs and rehearsals and as a performer I think you, you just build it up and build it up and you just want to kind of get it done so that you can just breathe a sigh of relief but, yeah. I, but I'm excited I just I, you know I think I'm I'm more excited now than I ever have been just because I've got to witness two amazing semi-finals and, um, and be in the same room you know the first one I was here and uh, you know the la uh, last night we watched in the hotel lobby, but, but uh, yeah. it wasn't quite the same vibe as, as being in the room. And it, it was just incredible. I, I, I just think, you know, like the song, I just don't want this to end, really, you know? Like, I, I, wish, I wish I could do the performance and then we could sort of have a few more, <laughs> a few more performances there. Yeah. You know what I wish for you? I wish that you have a couple of hours to yourself with your wife in beautiful, romantic Vietnam. <laughs> yes, that would be yeah. nice, but... Uh, Is that going to happen? I think so. I think so. Yeah. We've got two days after. I've, I've, uh, I, when I get back home, it's quite full on schedule. It's quite a heavy schedule. I've got to go back to some work commitments. and um, So, yeah, I, I sort of requested two days off to just get... We're going to get a car and, <laughs> and uh, my manager and his wife, they're close friends of ours and they're going to join us. And we're just going to take two days to breathe. It's a bit of calm before the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well, we're going to drive down to Salzburg because I, I, I saw Salzburg um, just a few weeks ago and fell in love with it. Yeah. It's amazing, apart from the surfing in the river thing. But, uh, <laughs> but, um, Sorry uh, about that. And then we're just going to drive through and hug, I guess, just hug the border along Bavaria and, nice. and travel up to Munich through Fusen. Very nice drive. Very, you'll, you'll enjoy that very much. Yes. I, wish you, I wish you beautiful weather. Thank you. you know? But even if not, it can all be kind of cuddly and romantic in the cafe. Oh, we love the snow too. In Australia, <laughs> you don't really get a lot of snow. You, know? right. you do a little bit inland, but where most of the population is, it's, it's majorly, you know, coastal. So, yeah. so it's, it's nice to see the Alps and see the snowy mountains. It's beautiful. Yeah, cool. All right, so any, everybody I've been speaking to, okay, that's a slight exaggeration, but a lot of people I've been speaking to who've been here in the Stadtade are saying, yeah, you know, nah, Australia obviously is going to take it. Oh, I don't, I, I don't yeah. think so. I, I'm, I'm putting my money on Sweden. Oh, really? I, uh, I, um, <laughs> but there's so many that I like. I guess it just depends what the... Uh, what the vibe is that people go for. for. For me, I thought Sweden was just outstanding last night. I, um, I thought Latvia was amazing. Mm -hmm. Really yeah. cool. Um, I, Loic, I just met Loic, and, and uh, that's yeah. how you say his name, yeah. right? Yeah. You guys have like all sorts of dots and stuff <laughs> and letters. And, and, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, he's. Super catchy song. And, and a great, just a very convincing performer. You know? Yeah. He's only young. Yeah, 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 19. Um, who else? Paulina from Russia. What a yeah. great song. Um, there's just so many. You know, I, I really love Norway as well. Um, yeah. And, and uh, who else? So, Serbia. Serbia. Gosh, yeah. Energy. When, when she performed, I was, I was in the room and it was, the whole place just went crazy. It's, uh, yeah. That's what it's about, though, right? It's about. Just creating a vibe, you know. It's not about perfection, you know, every, hitting every note and getting every move right. It's about bringing a vibe, and she did that. Right, totally. And also, the thing that kind of surprises me about your vision from time to time is, like, yeah. for instance, yesterday I was taking a cab ride home, and uh, the cab driver was a gentleman, perhaps a little older, <laughs> in vintage, and um, and he was he was like so. Uh, are you at the Eurovision there? Are you working there? I'm like, yeah. He goes, oh yeah, um, I like that Belgian singer. Uh -huh. And then he was like, da, 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 da. and I thought, wow, how does this guy? He's really, he's really into it. Yeah. It's People love Eurovision. Well, I guess that's the uh, that's the 
that encapsulate the, uh, encapsulates the whole vibe of Eurovision. It, 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 music is a universal language, you know. We've got a, a room full of people and now Aussies um, for this year. You know, like, <laughs> Aussies are people too. That's right. It's a song. It is. It is. And yeah. beliefs and, and different sexualities and different people and, and we all communicate through this wonderful medium which is music and, and um, that's the beauty of Eurovision. Yeah. yeah. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, Barbara. I love Barbara this. I'm being, oh, thank you. Being very generous about your fellow performers there. What sort of odds would you give yourself though if you had to rate rate it now? Um, I have no idea because it always changes, you know, and, and, and it is a, a huge, it's an anomaly. We're, we're, we're a guest, you know, I think as a country we're just blown away by the reception more than anything else. We're blown away by um, just how warm the welcome has been, you know, both from the hosting nation, you know, but also from all the countries, all the contestants. It, it's, it's just been incredible and, and so I, I guess I feel like it would always be a little... I don't know, a little strange or a little arrogant or something to start, like, uh, assuming I, I, I even know where we would come in such a, it, it's kind of a strange um, situation that we're here in the first place, but an amazing one and one that we're so grateful for. So, so I, um, I, I, I'm just, I, I, I'm a little bit competitive um, and only a little bit, not so much when it comes to music, but, but the little bit of the little competitive side of me just doesn't want to come dead last because it wouldn't be nice doing interviews in the morning with Australia and then going so <laughs> you embarrassed us <laughs> don't come back <laughs> that's never going to happen you both and you've been representing Australia wonderfully as oh, far as I'm concerned okay yes one last question I'm going to go to Blair sorry. I've made my choice. I am in charge. I have the power. <laughs> there you go. Field Dunk. Hi, Guy Blair Martin from Radio 4 Triple Z FM in Brisbane. Thank you very much for what you're doing for us here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Two quick questions, one serious, one not. Yes. The serious one. Uh -huh. The look of the performance, it's very colourful, right down to the costumes and the graphics and everything. Did you get an idea that a lot of the performances this year are black-white? There's a very black-white thing going on with a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And the not serious question, if you win this thing tomorrow night, will you get a knighthood from Tony Abbott? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, he's handing them out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, look, I, I um... That's a guy, I said. Yes, I could, do, I, could, I could go with Sir Guy. <laughs> Sir Guy. Um, Look, I, I, I think, I think when, when it came to the performance, um, for me the song dictates everything, you know, it, it, we always look at the song as the most important thing and it's the key, um, you know, even when I go on tour, when, I'm, when, I'm, uh, when we're thinking about the creative and, and uh, um, you know, for, for any song that I'm performing on stage, it, it's, it's what the song is, is, is speaking and, and, and to me it, it, it's just a colourful song, I think a, 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 a um, I think a, a you know a palette that was black and white or, or, or greys or whatever just wouldn't have suited the song. I think you know you look at Belgium very white, but it's just like perfect for that for that sentiment. Tonight again is about embracing the moment. It's it's about um, you know being happy. It's almost uh, it's an urban landscape, sort of like singing in the rain, but with the opposite sentiment. So you know obviously singing in the rain, it's black and white, but this is an urban landscape with a similar sort of joy but with uh, with lots of colours and and uh, it's it's not something I always do. I usually go quite monotonal with, with, with a lot of the artwork that we do on, on stage for our tours and stuff like that. But um, it's Eurovision, you know, we, we threw everything at it and, and, um, and we're really happy with where it's at now. You know, it, it's it's not too much, it's just simple. We just wanted to we just wanted to put on a show that was fun and, and something that people didn't have to think too much about and, and, and it, it's not so graphic focused, it's about the vibe and the fun and the song and it's delivery, so yeah. I just wanted the opportunity just to say that um, I think from Australia's perspective 
um, we really feel like we've got the best singer and the best song. You know, like I think that the audience in Australia is so proud of God and uh, it's been a real pleasure that he's taken part in this. Um, it, it, he, he's a mature artist, he's a great songwriter and to, to submit to being in a competition in a sense is, is something I'm sure he had to think about. But for us, the, the spirit of generosity and, and kind of <laughs> intuitness that he's brought to this has been incredible. Um, and I just wanted to acknowledge uh, the SBS CEO who's, who's come over uh, to see Guy perform. And I, I wanted just to say that um, Guy taking part as a competitor uh, this year really comes down to all the work that Mike's done behind the scenes. Uh, with the Eurovision Song Contest and the EBU, and it's so much appreciated, Mike. It's been great. Yes, thank you. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for that guy, so thank you. Well, I thank you too from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know what? In my opinion, Australia, Guy being here at Eurovision at, on 60th anniversary, especially in Vienna, is like such a win, 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 win situation. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. I, I've really felt so, so, so welcome, and, and I, uh, you know, I'll never forget this time. And, and uh... yes, and we look forward to be, being welcomed by you. Oh yes, anytime. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay anytime. in the I'll stay in the guest house. I'll keep the drop bears away. <laughs> <laughs> Australia.